just finished these steps here. Um, these steps were overlaid with uh, probably cement all as well. <clears throat> and uh, we had a crack on that step starting to delaminate. So I basically just took uh, some cement all mortar mix, fix that crack first, let it harden up a little bit, 20, 30 minutes. And then I uh, made a thinner mix here just to float everything because this had all hairline cracks and stuff. So fill in those cracks like a maintenance, a maintenance item. So I'm not sure if you could really tell here how it came out, but she looks all right. She looks all right. If you could see that top step, see that top riser, um, that's basically what the... I didn't hit that top riser, so that top riser is more or less what the uh, whole stairway looked like. This is what the top of the stairway looks like, but uh, it's covered by an awning, so we're not so concerned about that. And here's what these stairs look like. These stairs could look like uh, they could use a nice coat. So, I used Portland in the front of the church steps, and really I used it because I had it, and uh, I wanted to see what it would look like, what, how it worked, but uh, this is cement all mortar mix, and obviously this does a much better job, it's just gives you a better product. It's obviously a lot stronger. Um, you know, it gives you that nice crisp white look. So nicey nice. This should last here. This is obviously gonna, this is probably, you know, cement all. I think this will last a year or two years and then you gotta hit it again. So, um, but if you could see, I guess I should have took a before picture, but if you could see, right here you see this little I don't know if I'm getting it because now the sun's glaring in me but you see how this is starting to check uh, again I can't really tell yeah I think it how that's starting to check that's how the entire surface was and then this stair was uh, all cracked here at the edge so but filling in those little check marks goes a long way in uh, prolonging the life of the stairs. You fill those in, the water is, uh, it becomes a little bit more resistant to allowing the water to get in there in the winter. Obviously it can't freeze and pop it out, so uh, you get a better job. So that's that. We'll see what uh, might be doing the front of the stairs and the church here again with uh, some cemental because uh, I really like the way this uh, finishes. And with this, I didn't use the sponge float. I just used a regular sponge. That's it. Uh, mixed it with the trowel. Put it on, obviously, with the trowel and the, um, and the uh, whatchamacallit, I made the edge there on that broken step. But everything else, I just popped on my cement all, a little bit loose mix, and uh, floated it with a regular sponge. And then obviously if you've got a little hole that you got to fill in, you dab the uh, sponge in the uh, cement all and fill in that hole. Works really nice. So that's that. See you on the next one.